Having battled Duchenne muscular dystrophy most of his life, Cole Eichelberger is hopeful doctors will find a cure. He's traveled thousands of miles to take part in a clinical trial. But for patients like Cole to qualify for cutting-edge medical studies, it's not about how far he's willing to travel, but how long he's able to walk. There are a lot of neat clinical trials going on right now that have the potential to really change this disease but people are not allowed in them who can't walk for six minutes. That's the standard set by the FDA. If Duchenne patients can't walk at least six minutes, they can't volunteer for clinical trial. The problem with that is that that excludes a lot of kids. Kids who are no longer ambulatory, kids who are ambulatory but just can't complete the six minute walk. Maybe kids who are younger and don't have the attention span. <laughs> Which is why researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital developed this. It's a video game that tracks a patient's upper body functions, like their reach, arm strength, and stamina. The idea is to use it to allow more kids over the age of 12 to take part in medical research, who may not be able to walk very well, but who want to see if cutting edge treatments could help them. A majority of the population is over that age and is in a wheelchair, so this would allow, this would open up clinical trials to the entire population. And a new study shows the technology works. It consistently and accurately charted patients' upper body functions. Information experts hope will convince the FDA to let more patients with Duchenne into clinical trials, even if they can't walk very well. Everybody deserves a chance to have a you know, happy, productive life, but these boys were being excluded, and that's really the majority of the boys in this disease. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting. Damn.